guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just giving you a little rundown of our house and what it's looking like so far and just a little update on our new home. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I have two little ones. You'll probably hear them in behind me. Aubrey is three and a half and Jack is three months today. I just took his little Instagram photo update and I need to put the little text on it and all that stuff, but he didn't smile for me this morning. I was a little disappointed but I can't make them perform, they're not little robots. Anyways, today's video is all about our new build and how unpacking is going, or not packing, unpacking is going. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys kind of the mess that we still have to deal with, as well as some of the things that we have done since my last update video. Hey buddy, you having fun? So, unrelated to our house, but his poor little finger gets like so inflamed, I had to cut, cut it, but I don't know, I just feel so bad for him. It's like a problem that keeps happening. It's either I cut them and it inflames or I don't cut them and it gets inflamed and just the poor little guy. I hope he outgrows this fingernail problem. So as you guys can see, our house is still lived in. I have been trying to keep up my little goal of baking and filling that little thing up with muffins or little goodies. And then we got a little review that will probably happen in our next video. I've had boxes come and go from this area. Juan seems to think that if he brings them in, I'll get through them all, but that's not really happening. We have Aubrey over here playing with some blocks. Uh, I have some of my artwork. Juan and I each did one of these. I'll show you his in a second. This was my very first like painting one. And then I made this one with crayons, which was fun. But yeah, I got some artwork, some crafts that I did before that I'll probably give away because they're too small for our space. I got my art piece that I want to hang on this wall. It is like um, my little rose petals that are hanging down and just a bunch of other stuff to put up. I wanna put one of these wreaths up there on the front door, just like right in the center. And then we got a whole bunch more of these boxes. They didn't have the ones that matched my original set, <laughs> but these guys are gonna be for decorations. And I'm gonna turn my summer, spring, fall, winter boxes into the rotational toy boxes. So those ones are gonna be transformed and anything extra. Go! And then anything extra will probably be used for like additional baby clothes storage. But yeah, all these guys are gonna be like dedicated to Valentine's Day and then Easter and like individual holidays because I have way too many decorations for like spring, you know, that will fill up more than one box. And I forgot maybe the, the biggest change in this room was we bought this from Amazon. I think it was around $300, but I love the barn doors. Still trying to figure out how everything's going in it. But we have our DVD player and DVDs down there and then like photo albums and stuff hidden away down here. So I wanna make the center part look pretty but not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna put this sign right up here so that you can see like something. But then eventually again, we're gonna have our little coffee station here but I don't think that it will clash too much. We did hang this little photo, let me get the sunlight kind of out of the way, our engagement photos. And then this was something that we saw in Waco, Texas on our baby moon. So Juan really liked this one. So we put it up here and then have this little sign that my aunt gave us for our wedding on the other side. In the bathrooms, we hung these little shelves from Amazon. They were pretty inexpensive and just kind of a quick fix for our restroom. And we had these J and E letters from our wedding. <laughs> We hung our little cross here that holds holy water next to our front door. We got this actually on our honeymoon in Mexico, so it's really special and I'm glad we found a little place for it. And then in our front bathroom, we have the same little shelves and the decorations I've been changing here and there, but Juan did a good job hanging them. Aubrey's room is still a mess, but we did hang some floating bookshelves up there. We hung her little letter A that we made with some of our wedding roses. Uh, my mom made this little A using like just cardboard and duct tape, but I really like it. And then we hung up some of, mostly my artwork, but some of Juan's. This was Juan's little galaxy. These were Dollar Tree stickers that came in a pack. 
And then these were some of the things that I've made. So that was with crayons and then these were some little Mommy. painting classes. Yes, my dear. What? We just hop on that box. Oh, we have to hop on the box? Um, I'll remember that yeah, for next time. Yeah, and we had to just balance. Okay, when are you going to clean your room? In five hours, if we go to Walmart, I have a key to just... In five hours. And so Okay. We also rediscovered some more wall decals from the Dollar Tree that Aubrey's been having fun with. And then in this little nook, I want to do something like with the kids' photos. I have another little Waco art piece and a little... Oh my goodness, you just want all the attention today, huh? Uh, we have one of our little like wedding things that I've made and put together. So thinking about putting that here, but not exactly sure. Mommy, this is the painting. Yes, I made that. And it works because we have a blue door and that has a blue door, huh? Next time, can you put this on my door? Maybe. On my room? Maybe. But we have on, on a mall. Let me show you. Okay. And we will put it back in my will, okay? Show me where you would put it. And this one is uh, here, because I work it there, and that goes where he is amazing there. But we can get a new picture. <laughs> Stay there, and I will get a new picture, okay? Okay. Guess she wants it right back there. Okay. We did order some, like, cube storage shelf things for Aubrey's room, but we're pretty sure they were stolen, unfortunately. Uh, Amazon said it was delivered and we got nothing. No one rang the doorbell, so I wasn't like out checking because we weren't expecting it that day. And then it said it was delivered and nothing was here. So Amazon said like, give it two days and you know, we'll see if it shows up today. But unfortunately we think they were stolen. And then something kind of cute uh, that's not house related, but <laughs> yesterday Aubrey and I were having some fun and I figured I'd put my limited editing, you know, skills to use and make a little uh, superhero video of her. So I'll share that with you guys right now. And then we'll get back to the house. playroom again boxes have disappeared and reappeared so they're back here uh we do have this little puzzle which was the first puzzle Juan and I ever did together there's a little funny story about a missing puzzle piece this donut thing I think would look cute by the diner you know just kind of make it fitting make a little fitting corner but this room continues to get clean and then messy all over again which means our garage is getting a little bit more spacey but you know there's still a lot of work to do. And then I did settle on putting my little metallic envelope here for mail. Uh, I have a letter that I need to mail. That's just on this little magnet thing here. But we're just using some command strips, three to be exact. I didn't want to drill any holes in here. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And if you are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my other videos. I am so excited to have you here and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.